Hey, how's it going everyone? My name is Morgan and welcome to today's video. So we had the 5.21 patch drop this morning. This is a smaller content update, so there's not a lot going on, but like always, I am going to be going over the patch notes. If you guys are here for just the save the world content, you can skip to the time shown on screen, but let's go ahead and get right into this, starting with Battle Royale. First up, we have a limited time mode called Soaring 50s. This mode is a twist on the traditional 50 versus 50 mode, featuring an extra emphasis on mobility. Gliders can be redeployed when falling from large heights. Additional impulse grenades, bounce pads, and launch pads will be spawned throughout the map. Jump in and soar to new heights. Mode details are as follows. 50 versus 50 loot, ammo, and resource levels. When in midair and greater than 10 meters up, press jump to deploy your glider. They've added impulse grenades to chest at double the standard spawn rate. They've added impulse grenades to floor loot. Decrease the spike trap spawn chances. They've increased launch pad and bounce pad spawn chances. And profile stats, including kill to death ratio and wins, are not tracked in this mode. We also have sniper shootout making a return. In this limited time mode, players will do battle using sniper rifles only and may the best aim win. What's all new with this mode? Scoped assault rifles have been removed completely, and the heavy sniper rifle has been added to the loot pool. Further mode details are only weapon drops are sniper rifles, floor loot spawns reduced by 50%, and profile stats including kill to death ratio and wins are tracked in this mode. For weapons and items in Battle Royale, we have the new heavy sniper. It is available in epic and legendary variants. It can be found from floor loot, chest, supply drops, and vending machines. Each shot delivers devastating damage at the cost of a long reload. It deals 150 to 157 damage to players. These large rounds deal increased damage, 1050 to 1100 damage to buildings. And projectiles fired from the heavy sniper have less bullet drop in comparison to other snipers. For the minigun, the minigun headshot multiplier has been reduced from 2.5 to 1.5. For some bug fixes, they have grenades now properly grant progress for the week 5 challenge, deal damage to players with a clinger, stink bomb, or grenade, and that's all they've got for Battle Royale. Moving on over to Save the World, we have the weekly horde challenge Bulletproof Husks. This challenge features bulletproof enemies that must be defeated with melee weapons, traps, or hero abilities. A one-time completion quest reward is 1500 gold, and then after that it is a repeatable quest for 75 tickets. They've also removed the power rating restrictions on Challenge the Horde missions. These restrictions were blocking some players from accessing the weekly challenge missions, even though their power level was at the necessary level. For bug fixes, they have fixed an issue where the modifier between Challenge the Horde missions wasn't appearing between waves. The Constructor Leadership quest will no longer fail to advance when purchasing the Skill Tree node. The Atlas activation has been fixed in Multigate Fight the Storm missions. Track completion now advances the mission properly in Level 28 Deliver the Bomb. And Survivors and Quest items no longer appear as orange boxes in the world. For Heroes, we have the new Constructor Machinist Thora added to the Event Store, and she will be available Wednesday, August 15th at 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time. And for gameplay, we have one bug fix. It was fixed an issue that could cause rocket launchers to take up a large portion of the screen. So as I said, a smaller update. There's not a lot going on, but we do have some stuff for both sides of the game. Let me know what you guys are excited about down in the comment section below. But I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. If you guys enjoyed today's video or found it helpful, a like is always appreciated. And if you happen to be new to Split screen be sure to subscribe for everything fortnite and more once again my name is morgan thank you all for watching and i will see you guys next time